Welcome, fellow Americans and Americans. Today, I'm going to be your president for the day. Just the day. Think of it as like the first hundred days thing, but with just the first one day. You know, even though I live in Indonesia, I have the education of an American. Just smarter and more woke than the average American. I'm basically an American inside an Asian body in an Asian country. But it feels like America is my third home, aside from Indonesia and Canada, even though I've never stepped foot on American soil. Like, ever. Now, how confident am I in leading this train wreck of a country? Well, after watching the show, The Designated Survivor, I think I'm pretty confident I can take on this role as president. I'm even wearing this blazer just to look the part. But before I started playing this game, I gathered a few people for a survey on whether they'd vote for me as president or not. Although I am very much aware of the fact that I am not 35 years old, nor am I a male American citizen. But what matters... S sorry, did the audio cut out? Hello? Uh, can you please repeat this, the song again, please? Just... I, I haven't finished my speech, so can we just... Thank you. <clears throat> Where was I? But what matters is that I have the American dream, the American ideology, and the American patriotism. God bless America. No. 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 Why? Why? Is that a question? Despite not having all the support from my fellow companions, I still believe in democracy, which means I believe that every opinion has a value and that it should be as equally respected as the next. Except that one. But, again, I am a very persuasive person, so it didn't really take long for me to persuade him with his consent to vote for me willingly by his own choice, his own freedom of choice, not because I blackmailed him or anything. <laughs> no, what gave you that idea? Okay, I vote. <laughs> I, I vote. There's nothing I, I can say about that. Without further ado, let's get down to playing golf. Gol I mean, uh, I mean to to signing bills that would divide. I I mean not uh, unite this country. <laughs> God bless America. You press the phone to your ear so hard that it gets sweaty. Sorry, what gets sweaty? The phone, the ear, or your hand? Or all of the above? Oh, my laptop. Let me check my mail. <laughs> wow, being, being a president is a lonely life. All right, reptilian photos. Oh, <laughs> I don't, apparently I don't know my own password. We're nine hours deep into the new year already. No, you're not. It's 3 p.m. Oh, look, it's 3.40 now. Come on. Be on the lookout for hints that'll help you make the right choices. You can be sure that the lines marked with percent uh, will have some effect. Blah, blah, blah. I'm... I forgot the... I forgot the tutorial already. What does the percentage mean? Will it go lower or higher? Oh god, it's going down. Faced with nuclear threats from China, Taiwan needs to display their defense capabilities and they need US's help to do so. That is so weird. Uh, launch for them to intercept launch missile. Huh? What's that mean? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Sure, I guess. <gasps> oh gosh, I'm send I'm making a third world war. Shooting stars. Su 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 shooting star. What's what's up with the H? Shooting stars. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's an inter <laughs> Oh gosh, I 
completely forgot about the people. Um, that's fine. Okay, this is not going well. The, <laughs> the whole country has been covered with a white blanket and people cannot leave their homes. That sucks. Why is it going down? Hello? Wow, I didn't even do anything. All I did was take a nap. Is that Bo Burnham? <laughs> um, ooh, that your scheduled trip to Indonesia. I'm going back home, guys. Wait, what? Postponed? What's up, people? There's been a drastic shift of power in Kenya, and their new president refuses to acknowledge that the- mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No idea what that means. Here, I, I like negotiating. I think I messed up. Oh, I'm... Can I erase it? Uh, whatever. Oh, well, uh, another hard day is at, uh, at work, but uh, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go with funny. Aw, come on, dude. It's funny. You're the weirdo, you know? I mean, you even have it in your name. Come on. So you don't agree with my music taste, and for that, you're not gonna vote for me? That is... that is the weirdest... Th you know what? It's America. I can't really say much about it. it. It feels like an American thing to do. So this guy... A martini shaken, not stirred. What? What? Okay, I'm gonna make a better signature. There we go. Do a little star. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I messed up, guys. <laughs> Let me just put smiley face. There we go. Okay. Oh no, it's election day! Strolled through the park thinking about the election, watching the leaves. <gasps> no! No! I'm dying! What? 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 I'm a what? What? All right. So apparently, I got a brain aneurysm. So, <laughs> uh, I, I guess we'll do it again. All right. Let's see. Now, would I rather have a war to save life or threat elimination? Isn't that kind of ironic? Like starting a war to save lives how about starting no wars to save more lives i don't get it all right you know what let's let's activate this project and then we can get global domination plan i think i think we're doing fine here okay i've seen this before let's take them to war Sometimes, some people want to watch the world burn, and that includes me. So the thing is, I still don't know the secret password, so maybe if I... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway... God... I don't know what I was thinking. Why would I even want to achieve world domination? It's not even the thing I wanted to do. Okay, so last time I wanted to make a strong stance regarding the climate change, but apparently I couldn't go back home to Indonesia for that, so... I'm gonna pick it again. Oh no. Oh no. 
That's fine. My grandson is your fan. Actually, could you give him an autograph? He would be delighted. Of course. Thank you so much. You are the kid's hero. But I have only this prescription pad with me, so would you mind? It's all good, dude. Where are you going? I haven't even signed it yet. Come on, dude. There we go. You... are... a... star. President. Wouldn't it be funny if I just gave him the rejection stamp? <laughs> oh, I can't do that to him. I just can't. Welcome, Joe, sent to all. Hi, Joe. I'd like to. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no, we've we've hit rock bottom, guys. Oh gosh. Uh I haven't finished reading my mail. I am too drunk to taste this chicken. Colonel Sanders. What? I never expect a perfect work from an imperfect man. Alexander Hamilton. His name is actually Alexander Hamilton? Did he just quote himself or like did he quote the actual Alexander Hamilton. Uh, kindness, I've discovered, is everything in life. That is a good quote. I'm not gonna fire you. Sometimes it is safer to read maps with- uh, What? I really have the urge to fire you. I mean, you're kind of causing our industry to go down, so... You know what it is. I don't like Brussels sprouts, everyone. That is true. Thank you, Daphne. Thank you for speaking the truth. The worse the haircut, the better the man. John Green. Well, does that mean she's a bad person? Ooh! Yikes! Oh! Oh! I don't think she'll ever recover from that. God! <sighs> Again? So, having a brain aneurysm is inevitable? And I work so hard just to not get sick. Come on. You know, this is why we should start uh, voting for younger presidents. <laughs> we, can't, we can't keep voting for people who are like over 70 and close to death. Am I going to make it? He is- what do you mean? Wh what do you mean? I asked you if I was gonna make it and you're just- and tell me that it's over? I think we did pretty good. I mean, we didn't really cause third world war and uh, the country isn't in shambles, so yeah, that was easy.